How's it going everyone? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. Not much has happened. I mean, we're not exactly that uh, far into see. the uh, into the game here. And apparently the main character likes to idly chatter now. That's fantastic. But uh, yeah, back in it with Persona 5, the official sequel, I guess, or, or spin-off sequel, whatever you want to call it. A sequel nonetheless, it looks and feels very different the gameplay is going to be even better. Hey. The view from here sure brings back memories. Oh, it do. It do. But yeah, we haven't really done anything. Oh boy, does this bed bring back memories. Hey, you're not allowed to say that. Only Sojiro can say that. I just realized I forgot to actually open up my chat. Damn, it feels like I have not done this procedure in forever. Yet, I've recently finished Persona 5 Royal and I'd always have my uh, my chat up because I do the uh, live streams while I do this it's nice to see everyone doing so well but we're all good now I can actually see the chat in case anybody says anything chief seemed to be the same as ever too this place is just as great as I remembered so we're camping in a couple days huh talk about a way to kick off your summer vacation I'm looking forward to it. Let's visit tons. Of yeah, we'll go with the top one. We'll we'll keep it pretty melodramatic. <laughs> Me too. Well, we should get some sleep. <sighs> Good night. I don't know. There's a part of me that's like not liking how different everything is, but at the same time, it's it's at this it, it's the same. It's the same thing. It's just it looks and sounds and feels different. I must be beat from all the traveling. I can tell that I'm drifting to sleep right away. Man, he's never had... Oh. He's never had an issue with falling asleep in, in this shit. Good to know that the, uh, the old velvet room is fine and dandy. And that we still fit in our prison clothes. It's been a while, hasn't it? Huh? Bro, I, I I swear I just saw you like two weeks ago in Persona 5 Royal. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Lit, we're back. But where's Igor? That that's what I want to know. <sighs> I know not whether to rejoice or bemoan this reunion. Regardless, I must perform my duty. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. The expression you bear now tells me you already know the reason for your summons. I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume both yourself and the entire world whose heart you strove so greatly to change. A most loathsome prison has manifested. Your appearance is ironclad evidence of this. You have become a prisoner of fate yet again. Ooh, Imposter Alex, thank you for the follow. I am so sorry I don't have my, uh my alerts on. I am always ill-prepared for a stream. Someone, even now, plots to lure you into a disastrous fate. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. But welcome and, and thank you, nonetheless, for the follow and glad to have you here. Rise against it. I want to go to my sleep. My name is Lavenza. I know this. As one who rules over power, my duty is to witness the path you take. Should the world continue down its own current path, all that awaits you is destruction. Have you the resolve to defy such a fate and face the distortion that yet again threatens your world? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I only just got here. I know so well. What awaits you ahead are more of the same, no, even greater hardships than before. However, 
You must never forget. I am always by your side. Well, time to get out of here. The time has come. Let us meet again soon. Until then, pleasant dreams. So does this mean that the metaverse isn't actually gone? Because that's the only way that we can be there, right? That's that's literally the only way that would make sense. Good morning. Actually, no, it isn't, because we were able to talk with her after the metaverse had disappeared, so I don't know anymore. I just don't. Were you having trouble sleeping last night? You were tossing and turning like crazy. Anyway, it's time for us to meet up with Ryuji and buy our share of the camping equipment. Let's head over to the Buchiko statue. Now, hold on. We gotta take a look around here. We're still only in a walking, uh... A walking stage, you know? It's gonna be another sunny day for Japan. The temperature's way up there, too. It'll be especially hot in the central city area, so take caution and watch out for signs of heat stroke. Ah, my favorite. Let's allow Ryuji to melt. Yo. The city heat's pretty bad. Don't forget to drink plenty of water, alright? Well, thank you, Sojiro. Let's, uh, let's ex- Come on, come on. There we go. Hmm? You want coffee right now? Just drink some when you get- Fucking Morgana. You don't understand. I cannot examine things very well. Good grief. Looks like it's empty as always. It makes me kind of worried. <laughs> why does that cat meow sound so anxious? Everything's fine. I was gonna say, why does- why does he know? Or how could he know? Let's go. Are you gonna call- I wanna call Kawakami. Hmm. It's a masterpiece, no matter how you look at it, you can- Yeah, I know, I just- I just wanted some different things to be said there, Morgana. I don't know what else I could be looking at here. I'm gonna look at a little bit of everything. It's also nice to see there's a little bit more light in that room. It was pretty dark. Ooh, Futaba. Oh, we can actually run now. Nice. Yo! Headed to meet up with Ryuji. Good luck with the shopping. I knew it. I knew I'd be more help doing it all online, so I'm researching campsites now. I'll make sure we pick the best one. Playing in the river and eating barbecue all day, lighting fireworks, and telling scary stories all night. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait another second. I'm so excited. I'm gonna explode. Hit the deck. I don't want it. Uh, can we do any other forms of exploration? Like, can we visit the clinic? Hey. Oh, come on, man. I feel like we're not going to get a chance to visit with Takami, and it stinks, because I would like to catch up with her. Alright, let's get going. Will it teleport us over to Shibuya? Yep. Damn, this place is looking smooth and crisp. The characters may not have anti-aliasing, but the everything else seems to. Shibuya is as busy as ever. Look at all the people. Let's get to the Buchi uh, Buchiko statue right away. I'm probably saying that wrong. We don't want to leave Ryuji alone with his attention span for too long. You're right. Well, he's right there. Damn. This place really hasn't changed, but the the crowds of people. Wow. I don't remember the uh, the crowds of people being, like, this heavy. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, it's a different engine, so what, what can you expect? What I also have been noticing is that the sound balancing is a little off. What's up? Ready to buy some camping shit? Like, sometimes it's really difficult to hear what people are saying. I don't I don't know if that's uh I I don't know, whatever. Uh, let's hustle to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, Emma? Hello. Do you need something? God, that just sounds weird. I hate it whenever games and other media have to create their own, uh, AI or, or try to duplicate things that are going on in real life. I don't know, it's, it's cringy in this way. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, uh... Show us that story you told us about. Also, I have been very picky ever since uh, I started streaming. I'm so sorry. Route to your destination. 
Oh, that sounds bad. Whoa, look at this sweet map. You can even figure out how to help with a vague question like that? Oh, this thing's a whole lot more useful than I thought. Great! Let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast. What the fuck? What is happening? What's all the racket? I have a suggested event for you. I'm good. A promotional store opening is currently underway at the Shibuya 705 storefront with Alice Aragi. Huh? How's a suggested event? Wait, for real? Alice is here? Yeah, yeah, who is this Alice? Alice Hiragi is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She has gained attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She is active in a variety of media and genres. Hey man, if it's not Rise, I ain't interested. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Oh, I don't know. What kind of answer is that crowd giving you, huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, I um, I really don't give a shit. <laughs> Me personally, not really caring here. Changed at all, have you? It's on our way into the store. Why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it. Well, I don't get a choice in this matter. Hey, hey, what's going on? Heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Wait, isn't that Alice? Alice Hiraki! Hi, folks! Thanks for coming! Alright, that is just a lot of bright colors. A shop that carries one of my very own brands is opening here, today! Have you ever dreamed that you could be somebody else, even if just for a little while? Well, I know a place where that dream comes to life. A wonderland where you become whatever you want to be. Now, I've got one question. Does anyone want to visit this wonderland with me? I'm good. I want to go home. Aw, oh, thanks! Then I have a surprise for you. I'm giving away 100 invitation cards as a special present. They're magical cards that will make you have an even better time in Wonderland. Enjoy! Oh, oh my god, thank you so much. Okay. Ah, and one for you. And of course, we're going to get one as well. Because we're the main character. Alice just touched my hand. Oh, those are some quality specs. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. I hope you like the star. That was weird. Alice handed me a card. That she did. Guide you to Wonderland. Have fun there, everyone. <laughs> so this character has significance of some sort. If they're gonna dedicate this time and all that here to her. Did we even shop? Wait, what was with that crowd? Man, I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Uh, yeah. Hey, you just don't get it. Her being different what makes her so awesome. Well, she's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady On alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Well, are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine, fine. You got one of those cards from Alice, right? Ryuji, you were standing right next to me. What? What? How is that even a question? You shouldn't be asking that. <laughs> yeah, he did. You just got blown off. Can it? There were just a ton of people around is all. The card says Alice Higuragi's or Hiragi's or however the fuck you're supposed to pronounce her name, even though they've just been saying it. Wonderland. Alice Hiragi's. Hiragi, Wonderland? okay. This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some fine print here. Here's my Emma keyword. Please become my friend. What's a keyword? 
Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! I don't know why we need to, like, friends on an assistant app, but whatever. I guess I could add Alice as a friend. So, you input the keyword, then you become friends with Alice? You said it's on the card, right? What was it again? Uh, Wonderland? This all seems very familiar. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Oh. Oh, I knew it. I was going to say that sounded very familiar. Okay, so this character has some strange significance. Very strange significance. Damn, it got night fast. I don't know. Feels like... Whoa! What happened to you guys? Not just me. You changed too. Whoa! For real? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Looks like this place is connected to the metaverse. Ha! <laughs> Back at it again. This is a joke, right? Whoa, check it out. Look! Huh? Aren't those the guys we saw at 705? So they also got transported. Hey everyone! You love me, don't you? Nope. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh yeah? Then you can give me all your desires. <laughs> oh. Bro. Hella just ripped out his liver. There's no time. We'll figure it out later. Joker, Skull, let's fight our way out. But I only know how to use turn-based attacks. Damn it! Ah, fine, let's do this. We'll take all of you on. All right, well, looks like I got I got to learn how to play the video game now. Stay sharp, you two. We haven't fought in some time. Just warm up a bit for starters. It'll come back to you soon enough. Morgana, this is a little different, okay? All right, fuck it. I'll, I'll just do what I did last time. And I'll probably, you know, try to chill about it, too. Because I feel like I wasn't really paying too much attention last time. And this time I will. Oh, wait. We get combo. We get combos. All right. Okay, wait. All righty. Oh, I wanted to do more of those. I dig the music, though. I don't know how. X while holding R1 is your persona skills. Hold R1 and move the left analog stick to aim at enemies. And then use skills. Okay. Persona skills have certain affinities. Oh, okay. Just like the old turn-based stuff. Enemies have the weaknesses. By using attacks that an enemy is weak against, you will deal greater damage and deplete the enemy's down gauge. Oh, hell yeah. I'm down with this shit. Let's get a little closer. Oh, I can't. Fuck. That's okay. And it glows red if they're weak to it. Oh, shit. I dig that. Alrighty. Circle on down enemies is an all-out attack. While an enemy is knocked down, press circle to initiate an all-out attack with your teammates. Since they can deal damage to several enemies at once, it is a good idea to use all-out attacks on large groups of enemies. When an enemy's down gauge is fully depleted, it will be knocked down, and you can deplete an enemy's down gauge by striking its weaknesses or by landing critical and technical hits. All right. Oh my god, I dig it, man. I dig it. I really do. All righty. And now that I'm like practically out of SP, you know, that's probably not good. Oh, I love it. I love this. It's really smooth and fun. I'm not gonna lie. I just gotta learn like all the combos and shit. Can you like regain SP? Is that a thing? I hope it is. Reinforcements. If this keeps up much longer, we'll be done for. We should make good use of our surroundings. See anything that could give you the advantage? Uh. Oh. 
So circle during an on-screen prompt is a phantom dash. Press circle to move swiftly after a phantom dash you will automatically go into hiding. Triangle while in hiding is special actions. Depending on the situation, pressing, pressing triangle while in hiding will perform different actions such as attacking or moving. And that's how you switch targets. Okay. Oh, I'll give it the old shot. Oh, okay. And then we can do an all-out attack. Sick. All right, I I freaking dig this, man. I was a little like worried myself, but I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right, we can even move. Nice. Uh. What do I want to do? I guess, uh, fuck it. Oh, I, I dig it. I really dig this. I guess I should also use the map. The map is helpful, I'm sure. Not too many enemies left. Yep, definitely got to learn all these, uh, these techniques here. It'll take me some time. And my commentary is going to fucking suck with all this. I really, I really believe it. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, that's a lot of them. How do we do that? Guys, over there! That looks like our best bet. Uh, I want to keep fighting though. All right, fuck it. Well, we'll get the yuck on out of here, I guess. Oh, I forget this is dodge. That that would have been good to remember. If only I looked at the buttons at the bottom of the screen. This is also really loud. Okay, what in the hell is this place? Oh, I think this could be Alice's palace. Palace? I thought those were done for, though. I mean, we don't even have the meta nav on our phones anymore. I don't know what's going on, but I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. So what is Emma? If Emma was used in order to get in here... Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. Let's investigate the area. If this really is a palace, the distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, even getting a faint whiff of it. But if we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. Guess we're doing this. Ryuji, it's not like we have much of a choice here, brother. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> These cutscenes look really well done, by the way. Oh, even even better. This ain't fair. Oh, ow. Damn. Loki bringing back a uh, Hamashita's palace sort of vibes here. She is freaky as a shadow, too. Not in the good way. Who are these little guys? Your Majesty, we captured these thieves, but we couldn't seize their desires. We have instead brought them to you. <laughs> couldn't seize their desires? Explain yourselves. Hmm. You look pretty cool. Hey, thanks. I think. So, what's your name? I'm gonna just stay quiet. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Joker! Ah, so you are 
Joker, huh? Come now, Joker. You need to answer properly when your queen asks a question. Quit it, asshole! Ugh, would you shut your mouth? Or are you looking for punishment too? Now hold on. I don't know if Ryuji's into that. What? Shit! Just try it! Ugh, what a bore. I just stopped caring. Get rid of them, however. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Bye bye well, we're dead. Well, yeah, I would like to save my progress. That'd be nice. But I also would like to continue playing, you know? Okay. Yeah, let's see what's gonna happen here. I'm, I'm very interested.